Hi, I'm Paul Brees Gerlich, Applications Engineer for Practical Instrument Electronics, manufacturers of Pi calibrators. Today I'm talking to you about the Pi Model 830 process calibrator with loop diagnostics and built-in transmitter power supply. Complex loop problems and complex solutions to solve them. Here's a problem. The loop is behaving erratically and you suspect the transmitter. One possible solution would be to get a replacement transmitter from the storeroom, configure it, and swap it out for the suspect transmitter. If it fixes the problem, then you know you had a problem with the transmitter. If it doesn't fix the problem, you now have to spend a lot more time looking around the loop to see what the real problem is. And you've now got an extra transmitter you've taken out of stores. Another problem would be a loop having issues when the transmitter gets too close to the top of its span. This is sometimes indicative of a problem with the loop power supply or too many loads in the loop. For this, you can use a milliamp calibrator to simulate the transmitter, putting it in place of the transmitter in a loop, and see how the loop operates at a full 20 milliamps. You may find that the power supply isn't capable of supporting the load. Other problems crop up when you do have transmitter failures, and the operator says you have to get the loop up right now. You can use a milliamp calibrator to simulate the transmitter using it as a manual loading station. But this requires having a technician with a walkie-talkie adjust the calibrator as requested by the operator while a second technician goes off to stores, gets a replacement transmitter, configures it, and places it back in the loop. You've now tied up two technicians and a lot of time by the operator just to keep the loop running. A simpler solution to solving some of these complex loop problems. Instead of stumbling around swapping instruments and tearing the loop apart, temporarily swap out the transmitter with a Pi 830 which allows you to troubleshoot the loop using loop scope technology. The 830 connects up to the process sensor and the loop just like the transmitter. The 830 operates as a diagnostic isolated two-wire transmitter. Loop scope technology allows you to see at one glance on one screen all the electrical parameters of the running loop, including the value the sensor is measuring, the corresponding milliamp output, the power supply voltage minus the voltage drops in the loop, and the calculated load resistance of all the instruments in the loop. We'll be showing you how to temporarily replace a transmitter with a Model 830 when you suspect the transmitter is faulty or to diagnose the parameters of the loop. So what we'll be doing is showing you the 4 to 20 milliamp loop with the transmitter, then replacing the transmitter with the Model 830, show you the 830 operating as a transmitter, then we're going to turn on the loop scope function which will allow you to see at one glance all the operating parameters of a live 4 to 20 milliamp loop. Here we have a typical 4 to 20 milliamp loop. We have a 24 volt power supply which is supplying the voltage to the two wire transmitter. The input to the transmitter is a type K thermocouple measuring some warm water. And then we have uh, the milliamp loop running to the control room which is monitoring the process. And it's currently showing 10.0 milliamps. Let's see how this transmitter is configured. The heart communicator is showing the transmitter's current input temperature is 37.87 degrees C. Analog output is 10.06 milliamps. And the transmitter is scaled from 0 to 100 degrees C for type K. We'll remember this setup when we replace the transmitter with the Pi Model 830. To configure the calibrator, you simply double click on the knob to get into the menus. It's already set up for type K thermocouple. So it's thermocouple, degrees C, type K, cold junction on. Get to the thermocouple transmitter menu. We'll turn on the transmitter to linear. We have our choice of linear or nonlinear, depending on your type of transmitter and upscale or downscale burnout. We'll leave loop scope off for the moment. 
Now that we've set up the 830 in the menus, we need to configure the span and zero to match the span and zero of the transmitter we're replacing. For the zero, we're going to go down to the low position. As you turn the dial without pressing it, it goes a tenth of a degree at a time. When you press and hold it, it goes much faster. And then we'll store that value into the low position to represent our zero. So zero degrees C. Do a similar thing to get to 100 degrees C for our span stored into the high position. We've now set up our calibrator to match the configuration of the transmitter. Go back to the set position and it's now acting just like the transmitter, measuring 39.0 degrees C of the warm water and simulating 10.231 milliamps output. As you can see, the loop is once again being monitored in the control room and seeing 10.2 milliamps. Again, the power supply is supplying voltage just like it did to the transmitter, but now the 830 is acting as a transmitter and regulating the current based upon the input temperature. We're now going to turn on the loop scope. Once again, we go to the calibrator, double click, get to the second menu, and we're going to turn loop scope on. Now we can see all the parameters of the loop all at one glance. We're showing you we're still measuring 38.9 degrees C in the water. The milliamp output of the transmitter is 10.213 milliamps. And the voltage out of the power supply through the drops in the loop is 21.4 volts. Those drops in the loop are equivalent to 271 ohms of resistance. You cannot do this with any other calibrator on the market. So that's the Pi Model 830's loop scope technology, allowing you to simultaneously see the current in a loop, the power supply voltage, and the load resistance of all the instruments in the loop. When you can quickly find out what the problems are, you can fix them faster. You'll also have less documentation when you don't have to account for random instrument replacement. Routine calibrations are tighter when you use the Pi 830 instead of less accurate calibrators made by other manufacturers. And when you temporarily swap the highly precise 830 into the loop, the loop will run with greater accuracy than with the transmitter. When you isolate the problem to determine if the transmitter is malfunctioning or if there is a problem with the power supply, you save money by not replacing perfectly good instruments. Better calibration with more accurate calibrators leads to better control and lowers the cost of the total process. And if you can save a whole batch from being dumped, the savings adds up not just from the cost of materials and wasted time, you don't have the disposal costs and the associated regulatory paperwork. Your job becomes much easier when you have the tools to quickly troubleshoot loops, which makes for happy plant operators. And supervisors favor technicians that can fix complex problems with simple solutions. And that's how you use the Pi Model 830 to temporarily replace a transmitter and to use loop scope and look at all the parameters in a loop. Go to www.pycal.com for more information on the Pi Model 830 process calibrator, our other multifunction calibrators, or our single function calibrators for milliamp, thermocouple, RTD, voltage, frequency, and pressure. Thanks for watching.